ProPresenter has always excelled at video playback and song presentation, but with all of the slide build tools, you can now ditch PowerPoint or Keynote and create your entire presentation right inside ProPresenter. I've created some sample teaching notes using one of the pre-built templates inside ProPresenter. To show off our first way we can do slide builds, let's go into the editor, and on the second slide you'll see I have a bulleted list here. Now this is just a normal text box with multiple lines of text. To set this to be a bullet text reveal, make sure you're on your text properties, and then at the bottom you'll see a text reveal and we can set it to bullet list. When you do so, you'll see some new icons appear saying this is a multi-click slide, and let's see how that works. So basically, we're going to click the slide once, it's going to show the slide in the first item, and then we click again for the next item, and one more for the third. So that's how a multi-click slide works. Now let's look at how to do fill in the blank. So let's go to our editor, and then on this next slide, I have some text that I want to be fill in the blank. So the first thing we need to do is underline some text that we want to be filled in. So we'll underline forward and back. And then we can select this text box and set the reveal to fill in the blank. It's as easy as that. And then when we go out here, we'll click on it. The first thing that will show is our text with the blanks. And then each click will fill in each word. Now let's create an even more customized slide by using our slide object transition. So we're going to go back to our editor. I'm going to create a new slide using a template. So I'm going to go here to impact and I want to use this full page text. So we're going to create a new slide using that template. And for the title, we're going to put visualize success. I'm just going to resize this text box so we can see all of our text. And then we can delete this other one because we don't need it. And now let's add some images to this slide so we can visualize our success. So we're going to go up here to the Add Image button. I'm going to grab one of these climbing images and hit Select. And then let's just scale this down and let's add in a couple more. So let's uh, add climb number two. And again, we'll just scale this down a little bit. And we'll add climb number three. So now we have our three images in and we can scale them down. I'll get that to a similar size as the other one. I can move this over here. We could spend more time making this look perfect, but for now, we'll just call this pretty good. Now the one thing we can do is since I scaled these down, it's a little harder to see the people I'm trying to visualize. So I actually can crop these images. So I'm just gonna double click and now with the black bounding box here, I can scale this up and it's going to crop my image inside so I can get a little closer look at that person. So we can maybe go just slightly bigger. So we're just kind of cropping that image down within the bounding box. So I'll do the same to these other ones. So we'll just uh, make these a little bit bigger. And the last one, double click and scale this up so we can see our people that we're trying to visualize. So now we have our people visualized. Now let's actually create our slide build. So first let's start with our text. We're gonna go to our slide build properties and then we can set a transition. I'm gonna use this zoom in transition and maybe we wanna set this to the center of the screen. So we can set the center and hit done. And now I'm going to uh, set how this comes on. So right now it's set to come on with the slide, but I want this to come on on a click by itself. So I'm gonna set it to on click. Now let's set transitions for our images. So I'll grab my first image here. I'll do another transition. We'll do another zoom in and the center is fine for this. So we'll hit done. And this one we want to be on a separate click as well. So we can go here and say on click. And then we can set our next transitions here, and another zoom in from center, and one more zoom in from center. Now you'll see these are kind of in groups, and uh, what these are saying here is that this is what's going to happen with my first click, and this is what's going to happen with my second click. And now this next item says that it's gonna go with previous. Well, instead of with previous, I'm gonna say I wanna do this on a delay because I don't want all of our items to come in at the exact same time. I want them to be staggered as they come on the screen. So I'm gonna set this to like maybe a 0.3 second delay and maybe we'll set this one to a delay of like 0.6 seconds. So now we have two clicks and the second click is going to trigger our images and they're gonna come on one after another. So let's see how this works. 
So let's go here. We'll click once. That's going to show my slide. Second click should show my text. And then our third click will show our images coming on in order. Now if we wanted to take this one step further, we could have these images transition off this slide and have some more text come on the slide. So let's see how we could do this. So we're going to go back to the editor. I'm going to go to this slide and we actually have build out options. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to say build out and we're going to do a, a fly in. So it's going to zoom back the direction that it came and we're going to set this to center and hit done. So this will be my third click and now we can transition these other images off with this one. So I'll click this one, we'll say a uh, zoom or fly in and we'll say centered and we'll do the same for this other one. So we'll do another fly in and set this to centered. And again we can set these delays. So I'm going to say uh, after a delay and we'll do the same sort of delay. So we'll do 0.3 seconds and 0.6 seconds. And now we can add our text back to our slide that we want to transition on after these guys are gone. So we'll go back up here. I'm just going to grab this uh, bullet list that I had and we're going to grab this and add this to our slide. And then we can just set a transition for this to build in. So we'll set this to build in and we're going to say that this is going to be another zoom in transition and we're going to do this from the center and hit done. And we want this to be on click and this click is going to happen after everything else. So this is now down at the bottom and so we have five different clicks here so let's see how this all works. So I'm going to click my uh, clear my screen and I'm going to click my first and that's going to bring up my slide. Second will bring up visualize success. Third will bring my images on. Fourth will bring my images away and then the fifth click will bring in my first line of text second line of text, and third line of text. So that's how easy it is to create some engaging presentations right inside ProPresenter.